Hello again everyone. Welcome to the second really useful drum synthesis tutorial. This time we are going to look at making a simple snare synthesizer. As you can see, our ingredients include white noise, an FM oscillator, a few filters, and envelopes for the volume and the filter cutoffs. In a new patch, add an easy DAC, a button, and then a noise object. Hopefully you are getting used to envelopes by now. We use a line object. Square the output for a steeper curve and use the dollar sign to control the decay time. There we go. Now let's add a couple of bandpass filters with resonance of 3 and 5. The cutoff values do not really matter here because we are going to add a filter envelope. Remember, the bandpass outlet is the third one from the SVF filter. Let's sub-patch a volume envelope so that we can reuse it for the filter. There we go. The filter cutoff values are not 0 to 1. They need to be much higher values so we can add some scaling here. We have two slightly different scalings for the two filters. Let's also add a control so that we can change the scaling. How does that sound? That's good. OK. Now we can make the frequency modulation oscillator. The cycle sign tone is modulated around a particular frequency, 150 for example. Whoops, that cycle 30 should be a times 30. My mistake. We apply an even steeper envelope to this oscillator and then send it onto the filters. Now we can tidy that all up into a neat sub patch, leaving our interface items outside.
As we did in the base drum tutorial, we are now going to create a few quick presets with the Pata storage object and use the node object to control it. Go to the object inspector for each of the four number boxes and give them each a scripting name. Something unique for each one. We can then add a blank auto patter object and the patter storage can then see and control the elements. We add a regular preset object and send it a message to associate it with the patter storage object. Shift click to save a few fun presets. Finally, let's get the nodes object in here too. Stealing it from the nodes help file. I only have four presets so I am going to need to tweak the load mess object to only have the numbers 1 to 4 and then change the nodes inspector so there are only four nodes. You can resize a node by holding the Alt key and dragging. Let's see how that sounds. Yeah, that's okay. It will obviously sound better alongside the other drum sounds, so try this out alongside your kick drum from the previous tutorial. <laughs> 